So this is an alchemy book. I wonder if I'll understand it. I should read the preface first. Hmm, let's see. I dedicate this book to those who seek out the truth on their own. It already sounds hard. It's the first page and it's already talking about the truth. Is this what that spectacled man was talking about at the ruin? If alchemy is connected to the truth, then studying alchemy will... Lead me to saving Neo. All right, I need to work really hard for this. wanted person that Marion was talking about. It seems like the description matches the spectacled man at the ruin. Maybe it is that man. No, no, it can't be. But anyway, I need to focus on understanding this book right now. Alchemy is the one and only practice of processing materials to create something completely different. And an alchemist is someone who understands all creation and is well-versed in various substances. However, in order to use this skill properly, one will also need to have natural talent. It's not something that everyone can do. I wonder if I can really do it. But it doesn't seem all that different from making medicine. And I also seem to be able to understand this book. If I can understand alchemy, it might help me synthesize medicine. And maybe it'll give me some clues to find out where Neo went. Okay, now let's try to make this craft thingy. The first ingredient is... Um... Spiky fruit? Yeah, a lot of note stuff. Go through that in a second here. I'm putting uh, a lot of the stuff in my bag. Thought it went there automatically, but 
one of the first things that I'm going to do is uh, uh, do craft. I'm not going to be doing that right now or anything, so. And of course, uh, these other ones I cannot make. Um, eventually, I'll be making supplements and uh, I'll try and buy uh, a couple of water crystals. So I can make these, but... I uh, still don't have detergent yet. I thought I could make it, but... Maybe to make that one, um... I, I have to be at level 15, I think. And with these, um, these ones, um, you're going to want to have good quality if you can, but, um, and for each respective one, um, this one, uh, fire, um, this is water, wind, earth. Um, and these, all these things kind of look like, uh, bottles of Listerine, but, anyways, um, you're going to want to have at least 50 out of, uh, each of these things where, um, they're respective elementals, so. Hmm. But, uh, for a good do thing. I finally obtained it. My very own castle. For me. By me. Wow. He's such a tall man. From now on. I can bake whatever I want to my heart's content inside this castle. Castle? Bake? Um, excuse me. What are you going to be doing here? Here? This is going to be a bakery. Baked bread is so tasty. That's right. Bread is delicious. It brings harmony to various dishes and gives us the vitality for life. That is the power of bread. Flour and rye, butter and egg. This weaving harmony of fascinating ingredients is a melody of the angels. Uh, I see. I can tell that you probably really love bread. Oops, sorry. I got too passionate. I can't help myself when it comes to bread. After all my training, I'm finally ready to open my own shop. This is a deeply emotional moment for me. Now, I can bake my ideal bread, which has long been my dream. Your ideal bread? Does that mean you're aiming to make delicious bread? It's a little different. My ideal is to get many people to eat my bread. And through my bread, I want to make people smile. I hope I can accomplish that with this bakery. Wow, that's a 
great goal! Please do your best! Thank you. It'll still be some time until the grand opening, but I would greatly appreciate your patronage. Yes! I'll be looking forward to it! A bakery! I can't wait to eat freshly baked bread! Yeah, as I said, uh, he's not open with uh, the bakery just yet, but... Surgeon for her. Should have pay a clay. Sometimes I have anti sick. Once the bakery opens, um, we can get some more alchemy books there, so. Mr. Owner, are you gonna do that again? Of course! That's what I live for! No, it's actually my entire being. I wouldn't be exaggerating if I said it defines my very existence! Well, I don't care either way, but we have hardly any participants so far. Unlike the bazaar, it's not profitable, and association executives don't seem too fond of it. Hmm. It might be too hard for dignitaries to understand, with their old-fashioned sensibilities. But I'm sure the day will come when my innovative spirit will be proven right. But either way, you'll need participants. If this keeps up, the plan itself will end in failure. Hmm. That is a problem. An effective breakthrough solution would be... There she is! <laughs> what great timing! Ah, yes, we have her! What are you talking about? Whoops, before that. Aisha, what did you think of the last bazaar? That's so. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to hear you enjoyed it. Now then, not being too conceited for my success, I'm working on my next plan. 
Would you like to participate, Aisha? Oh, no, the next event is extremely scientific. It's the perfect event for someone like you. Scientific? Like gathering everyone up and having a synthesis contest kind of thing? No one but you would be able to participate if that were the case. The next event is the aptly named Thrilling Treasure Contest. Really? How about it? Just hearing the name is thrilling, don't you think? Mr. Owner, didn't you call it the Treasure Trove Contest? <coughs> You don't need to mind the minor details, Marietta. Uh, and what kind of contest is this gonna be? We collect treasures or rare items of great value from the ruins and... ...determine who has the item with the highest value. I believe that the intellectual curiosity of these items alone would be a priceless fortune. I will hold it, even though it won't bring any visible profit, because it is partially my hobby. Actually, it's nothing more than Mr. Owner's hobby. Now, Aisha, I hear that you deal with rare items as well. I would very much appreciate it if you would please participate. Okay. I'm kinda interested, but I'm also kinda not. It's simple to participate. Just present an item that makes you think, this is it! Judges will carefully assess each item. And whoever brought the most excellent item wins! And, of course, the winner will receive fabulous prizes. So there's no reason not to compete. How about it? Don't you just want to sign up? You don't want to, just say you don't want to. Why must you always sabotage me? Aisha was about to make up her own mind about this. Is that so? On the day of the contest, I'll have Marietta call out for participants. Just complete your preparations so that you can exhibit at any time. Keep it in the back of my mind. Wait, or was it the treasure trove contest? <laughs> okay, this is a kind of weird thing to do, so. What, six, seven, and twelve one. So, can't do it right now or anything, but... Okay, this is actually, actually the perfect screen for this, um... It really doesn't matter on uh, quality because I... Sometimes items, well, sometimes some of the judges, uh, like really high quality items, 
sometimes they don't. Um, the four judges on the right side of the screen, um, they change every once in a while. Um, usually the owner, Harry, is, uh, is always there, but uh, three pe the other three people are just whoever decided to come, so... Um, each one of them, uh, they have different things that they like uh, and different things that they don't like. And what you are going to want to do uh, is you are going to want to have them with a flower beside their picture. That means that they like it. And um, the estimate down on the bottom left of the screen um, that is basically the other people that are um, kind of in the audience, what what they think of it. Um, you are definitely going to want to have uh, a higher rating with uh, everybody else uh, that's in the audience and the judges uh, to be able to win. So um, Sometimes uh, the people in the audience don't like the... Um, the item that you're picking out uh, as much as the judges do and uh, that has a little bit of influence on them so um, you're definitely going to want to win all three of them and uh, you are going to want to have a, a higher rank than the other three competitors so so my suggestion would be uh, if you have to pick, <coughs> excuse me, just a couple of items into your bag um, that are usually in your container, um, I would normally uh, pick some, you know, okay items, um, some items that are a little better than usual, and uh, make sure to put in a couple of really. Uh, really good or rare items because uh, even though they don't usually win um, sometimes they do so And whatever we put in for our or excuse me, our assessment, um, we have to buy back. It's not like we just get it back after uh, after it's picked for the winner or anything. Yeah. Plus, you can actually buy the other people's items too afterwards. So. Yeah, <laughs> these things, uh, I, I really don't know uh, how well I'm going to be doing those, um, but luckily um, they do tell us uh, the minimum level that we should be at to uh, really have a good chance. Um, and that's good because uh, some of these things that uh, they're going to be uh, wanting us to be at like, you know, level 20 or 25 or whatever. That's why I said, uh, don't bother going down to that one place until uh, you get to level 22, so... Okay. 
He's the one that wanted the fur gloves. I think that's one of the ones that we could get from the bakery, so... Don't want to go overboard with these things. <laughs> 